Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be explaining something called string append. And pretty much what it means is, if you have a string and you want to add on to the string, so for example, if you have the word John and you want to add the word Smith to it, instead of deleting the entire string and restarting and typing John Smith as your string, you can actually just add on to it, which makes it a lot more easier, especially at runtime. Um, so this is actually very simple. I think you'll catch on pretty quickly. Um, but let's get started. What we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, enter a name, first name, enter a last name, and then we're going to make into a full name. And then, you know, we'll print it out to the console. So let's get started. Let's start by importing our ever so favorite friend scanner. So by doing java.util.scanner with uppercase s. And then we are going to make some strings and objects. So let's make three strings. First, let's make a string called, well, string first. And then we're gonna make a string called string last. And then a string called string full. Oops, okay. So our first name, our last name, and the full name. And then let's create objects. So let's make our scanner object. So I type scanner, SC, that's what we're gonna name it equals new scanner system dot in and then we're going to create a string buffer so type string buffer and this is going to be an object so string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer there we go so what is a string buffer well a string buffer is pretty much like a string but it's much cooler um, it's like a superhero string. It, it's much better than the regular string. So what it can do is, well, it can do a lot of things. It, it can append stuff to it. You can mess with it. And there's just tons of different choices that you aren't allowed to do with a regular string. So what this means is if I have a string buffer, I can mess with it unlike a normal string. So you can actually find the full description if you hover over it. But I mean, it's kind of boring. Although, if you just wanted more information, go for it. I mean, you can also learn about multiple threads uh, with the string buffer, but you don't even know what that means as of now. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so we'll, or we are going to be using a string buffer. So type system out print line and type enter a first name. And then below that, we can do first equals sc.next line. So what that means is we're taking in a first name from the console, and then let's do the same for the last name. So enter a last name. And then we can do last equals sc.next line. Great. So now what we've taken in is the first name, and we've, and we've taken in the last name. Now let's combine them. So to combine them, we have to do something called append, which is what this entire thing is about. So let's do full equals sb so string buffer dot append now if you look here here are all those really fun things i was talking about there's like a ton of them so you can do this with a string buffer but you know not a normal string but for this one we're just going to append so sb dot append and what that means is add on to and it's also in the dictionary if you wanted to know um, so what we're going to do is sb dot append and we're going to use our first variable which is first and then we're going to do plus a little space in between so it's not just John Smith it's John Space Smith and then plus last and then we're going to end it with to string so what we've done here is we've assigned our variable full to our first variable plus our last variable and then we've turned it into a string so that we can print it out and mess with it um, and the reason I put plus and then this empty space here is because if I didn't, it would come out looking something like this. See, there's absolutely no space here, but with this, it comes out looking like this. Just a little bit more organized. That's not required, but it just looks a little bit better. Um, okay, so now that we have our full, our string, two string and everything, we can actually just print it out. So let's type system out println, and then your name is plus full. And then for good housekeeping, so we can get this nasty arrow away, 
where it says resource leak is never closed, we're going to do sc.close. And then that's all you need for this. So let's try running it. Save. And I'll bring up the console window. And it says enter first name. So I can enter John. Enter last name. Let's enter Smith. And then it says your name is John Smith. Because what it's done is it's taking in our first, our last name, and then it's appending the first and last name to the variable full, and then it prints it out nice and neatly. And that's it for this tutorial, and I'm glad you're well, stayed and watched, and I'll see you in the next one.